But things are going very well for you because I've been doing some checking up, and as it turns out, yeah. your Christmas calendar is outselling David Beckham's. What, again? <laughs> <laughs> That's stunning. I find that amazing. Because what's the great statistic of yours, which is you've had a number one in the 50s, 60s, it's, 70s, 80s and 90s? Yes. The noughties is going to be really difficult. The competition <laughs> is much greater. There's less help. You have to do all the work yourself. And I, I work harder now um, okay, as a 44-year-old than I did when I was 18. <laughs> Promoting an album and things is really difficult. You have to go from one from pillar to post every day, all day, till Christmas. Get on one of those X Factor shows. Bish bash bosh, job done, number one. And then into the jungle. Um, <laughs> and, then, okay. and then back out again. Oh, Jeremy, now, would you do the jungle? Are you allowed to take a luxury in there? You allowed to say, I'd take you? gaffer tape to shut Janet Street <laughs> Porter. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when you began, of course, you were the, the kind of British Elvis, and this was reflected, I guess, in the cars that you were buying, because you went for American stuff, didn't you, Elvis? Yes, it wasn't just Elvis, the whole American scene, you know, the, the, the rock and roll was car-driving music. You know, Chuck Berry wrote, you know, no particular place to go. And it was all... Uh, the, the cars were uh, the romantic image of rock and roll. So, yeah... I, the first car I ever had was a Sunbeam Alpine, which was a really nice, you know, top off and all that. And but then my next car was a Cadillac Fleetwood, <laughs> and then the one after that was a Ford Thunderbird, and then a Corvette Stingray. And I went for that American look. And when you think about it, you know, can you imagine pulling up alongside a Ford Anglia in a Cadillac? It was three times longer. Mm -hmm. I must have been, I must have looked like a real Flash Burke. <laughs> but I didn't care. It was rock and roll. You so could have had a Zephyr. Well, they were the British rock and roll car, I have to say. But I had no desire for that. I, I really went for the comfort. I mean, the Cadillac, funnily enough, the Cadillac still... The, the engine motored really well, but a chrome, I could hear chrome falling off. Yeah. Boom! I thought, oh, there goes the bumper. Yeah. You know, it, they do tend to... They had a built-in obsolescence. I guess because they were relatively cheap when you think about it, in America particularly. Well, they were. They still are. I mean, American cars now, you know, they're only £3.50, and then you start <laughs> yeah. the engine for the first time, you find out why. Well, <laughs> it's, it's just all just disintegrated. Yeah. Now, going to bring this up. You see, you're a Christian man. We know this. Now, James May has this theory that if you drive in a Christian fashion through London, you go just as fast as people like me who drive like our hair's on fire. <laughs> Would you subscribe to that if you let people out of side turnings? I and... would. I think that sometimes when people see that you let people out, you get let through yourself. And then miraculously you get to the M25 and, oh, my goodness, it's clear, thank you. <laughs> you see, I don't do that. I just shout at the person in front, flash my lights until they pull over. Get out of the way, old <laughs> bag! Not you. But yeah. <laughs> get out of the way for crying out loud! On the whole, <laughs> with, the, with the traffic the way it is, it seems to me that if you, can, if you gain two minutes, you're lucky. Yeah. No matter how you drive, really. But I've got a very difficult road to come out of. Where, my estate that I live in, I come out onto a fairly main road. And usually, like a week before Christmas, people slow down and go, and they go like that. And I'm so, I've often gone, <laughs> it's so difficult to believe that they actually let you out. But at Christmas time, people do become rather nice. Really? Oh, yeah. Mm, now again, 500 horsepower, oh, get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of this estate that you live in, it's St George's Hill, isn't it? Yeah. Which is in Weybridge. Now, I'm guessing that you've got kind of monogrammed electric gates. Am uh, I right? Because uh, mine just break all the time. But don't, don't buy cheap gates. Have you... <laughs> <laughs> That is a good theory, because... <laughs> that's a good theory. Mine were made in France, and only one opens now, so I can only go home in, like, really narrow cars <laughs> to sneak through the one gate that'll well, open. Mine's been really good, actually. Obviously, you have to have service regularly, but they just happen to have C on them by chance because of the house name begins with C. Oh, right, so, uh, yeah. I believe that. <laughs> I absolutely believe that. Oh, right, so, your lap. How was it out there? Well, do you know... The most terrifying part of it, forgive me, the Stig, was when he drove me around. I'm looking at this bunch of tyres coming at me and it's 78 miles an hour. I'm thinking, <gasps> like this. <laughs> and, of course, he knows that he's going to break, make the turn. I think it's really hard. We almost need a week to practice it and then try the drive Yes, run. that's true, because we do have some footage of one of your practices. <laughs> uh, who'd like to see that? <laughs> Let's put it on the, on the TV Ooh. here and... and, uh, and I know watch. the bit you're going to show. Okay. Oh. Second to last corner again. <laughs> oh, like it! <laughs> Thank 
good. Yeah. Oh, good to see. After this spin, we had, uh, well, we had the lap, didn't we? Yeah, well, I tried a couple of times, and I, I it, it got, for me, it got better, but I, I have to say, I, I, it's a new insight as to what I look at when you see cars that are racing around 150 miles an hour. Yeah. Because you're, I, you're not in that, frankly. Not in this, apparently. No. The Liana, <laughs> no, well. you're, you're struggling to top 80 coming up that back straight I there. know, yes, but I did, okay. the, I, did I did 90 on that last track. 90? 90. Well, I tell you what, I tell oh you what, oh, I want to see this lap. Who'd like to see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it's cut, let's put it on. <laughs> Good start, Cliff. I love that. Good start. Would That's... you describe yourself as a keen driver? <laughs> I like driving. I'm not sure I would like to do this forever. You know, I mean, I find this is really difficult. I mean, well, that's driving I like. No, that's a good line through that corner. Was it? Yep. This one, yes. <laughs> no, you see, Christian Slater the other day he nearly hit the cameraman doing that. Oh, Far too <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> now you... oh, this is a look at That's a look at determination there. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> too fast through there. That's cost okay, you a second. <laughs> Now this is the one. This is the one where you can uh, pick up the speed. You go, that's, I love that bend. Yeah, that's really good. Because once the Stig had said to me, "Don't worry, just keep going. Keep your foot flat down." He said, "And this, yeah, there, that's the Whoa. bit. That's the bit I loved." So you do it to 90 before well, that. One of them. It... I don't know whether they. It was just a, this was. I think it was the last one I did 90. And across the line, that was there we tough. are. That looks like a pretty good one. So. That was tough stuff, I have to say. Where, where do you where think? Where do you think I might fit? <laughs> where do you Who's think? The... We've got some pretty useless people down here. <laughs> uh, we've got Jimmy Carr and well, Simon Cowell sitting up there at the top. Why I think you... probably I should be below Wogan. That will stop him talking about it. <laughs> Actually, he's not the bottom one. I see that... White... No, no, Why? Richard Whiteley is. Richard! <laughs> Richard Whiteley, oh where God, he was blinded laugh. by Let his look. jacket. Let me know. Who do I know? Where'd he go? <laughs> oh, my good. Well, I don't think that I'd much faster than that, was I? If I was... If I was I'd you did say... it. In uh, one minute uh, and 50 seconds. No. You are right up here. <laughs> An exclusive club. <laughs> the same as Lionel Richie, the same as Patrick Stewart, same as Jamie Oliver, same as Gordon Ramsay, same, I'm ashamed oh, to say, it as me. Well, I have to say... <laughs> what, a, what a claim to I fame. Am I'm the same speed as Cliff Richie. <laughs> What about that? It's Fantastic. been an absolute pleasure having you here. Very well done, ladies and gentlemen. Sir Cliff Richards! Thank you.